Huzza, huzza, huzza. Step right up one thin down one tenth of a dollar. See the amazing Babalu, the beast boy from Borneo. The huzza piece is from Lloyd's Prayer, a play that I wrote in 1987. And it's about a child who was raised by raccoons and he's found by this con man. And the first thing the guy thinks is, I'm going to turn him into this featured attraction at a carnival so that everybody can come and see this kid raised by raccoons. And when that fails, he takes him and he puts him on the revival circuit. So he becomes a preacher using him as the devil child. But for me, there's so many similarities between a charismatic preacher and a carny tent guy that, uh, that both worlds exist uh, together. Watch him heal the sick, bring hope to the lost. You'll scream, you'll shout, you'll laugh so hard your lips will touch behind your head. Oh, Huzzah is a production God. design to show that with this new technology that we're using, full body motion capture, that we can combine real actors, live actors, the disciplines of the theater and puppeteering to create a cartoon, a computer animated, an animated environment with real acting. What's unique about what we're doing is we're able to capture an actor's performance. We capture their hand motion with the glove and their body with the magnetic sensors and all of their face motion and we're able to reconstruct that on a character later on. This allows us to get an entire performance rather than having several different people to play the different parts of a single character. Watch, witness, be amazed, is completely engulfed in flames. He consumes a cantankerous concoction of broken glass, razor blades, a skill... The real-time face tracking system for motion analysis is a single camera optical motion capture system where there is a camera sitting at the end of a head, uh, of a helmet, and that camera is pointed at the face and it watches the, sen uh, the set of reflective markers on the face. And you get uh, 2D information, you get it in the plane. Um, but it's real time, so as the actor is performing, we capture the data through uh, their equipment um, onto our equipment, um, and we store it in a data file with timestamp information to coordinate it with the other data files. As soon as the data is captured, we can turn around and play it back and critique it and uh, use that information to change and modify the takes that we do later and uh, as much as possible make it like a live action set so that a director can uh, direct uh, an actor, they can roll back and look at the video loops, they can look at the data loops and uh, make decisions about it. What did the little fish say? What did the little fish What I wanted to do is realize that my hands are much bigger, away. my feet are bigger, my gestures mean a lot more as in, in terms of animation than they would on stage. And that I didn't want to waste as much movement as I would on stage. And so it made me focus um, on the performance and on the movement a lot more than I would on stage. So it, it was a very different experience in that case. Um, it's exciting because you always want a performance to get to that point at some time. But what's exciting about this is you need to get to that point right away because this is the one take that they're going to use. And it was, it was a challenge, to say the least. <laughs> but one I like. Huzzah! Huzzah! One of the things that's fun about this is that we were able to use a figure that Michael built for a stage performance. Uh, his name is Darren, and we used Darren to get our original digitizing points off his head and build a rough version of the model and then we'll use that rough version of the model until we're sure we've got all of the points mapped correctly onto the motion that we captured off of Kevin and then we'll build a much higher resolution version of this model uh, that we'll actually render for the final piece. All real, all live, hair covers 95... In the original sculpture on Darren, if his head's in profile one way, he's weirdly happy. I mean, he like has this little tiny smile where things are okay. And if you turn his head the other way, he's just like, oh, really, you know, aghast. And now they're taking a human and the quality of a human and animating it. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what, what that does. Hey, 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 hey. 
it's funny to talk about this little guy like he's alive, but weirdly he does come alive and he has certain qualities. And Kevin and Darren know each other. I think he loves Darren. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I really like him. And I do have a long history. I, you know, I remember when he was carved. <laughs> All for one thin dime, one tenth of a dollar. Huzzah. Huzzah. Huzzah.